Water has been flowing in the Rio Grande for the past few weeks, meaning it is the prime time to go kayaking, intertubing, or as Doppler said, simply picnic nearby. ABC 7's Jason McNabb brings us some tips from our New Mexico mobile newsroom to ensure you and your family stay safe on the water. Rafting the Rio Grande is arguably one of the most popular activities that Las Cruces partake in during the irrigation season, but it's one you should approach with caution. As the weather heats up, there's nothing better to many than taking a nice float down the river. David Kreider, owner of Southwest Expeditions, takes people on guided professional canoe and kayak trips on the Rio Grande. He says it's generally safe if you know the precautions, but says many people don't. There's been deaths out here. You know, everyone assumes, oh, this is a placid river. It's smooth flowing, shallow. Uh, several years ago when we were up in Leesburg, they had a child die. Kreider says being prepared for any scenario is the best thing you can do to stay safe, which is something his company takes very seriously. Uh, we pretty much know our game plan. The, we go through the what if scenarios. If somebody falls over, somebody calls us, if somebody's having a medical condition of some, some type, which we ask in advance. Um, the more knowledge you have before you go out and do anything, the safer you are because you prepared for it. Oftentimes, he says people don't even realize how long these river floats actually take. They'll listen to the mileage and they're thinking of mileage pertaining to them going down the freeway at 60 miles an hour. And they're thinking four miles, that's nothing. Let's do a 16 mile. That's six hours on the river. That's an intense amount of sun and they're usually not prepared for that. He adds floaters should also be wary of the potential undertows, currents and depth which can be unpredictable. Now, oftentimes when people come down here to the river, they're unsure if it's safe to park their vehicle along certain banks or if it's even legal. Well, I spoke with the Doniana County Sheriff to find out what's legal and what's not. Reporting from the Rio Grande with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Jason McNabb, ABC 7.